I'm just about to get a migraine, so I thought, what better thing to do than film with a big fucking light in my face? All right, guys, so it is Sephora B... B? It's the Sephora Spring Sale time of the year, and it goes in three tiers. It goes Rouge, VIB, and then Insider, which is what anybody can kind of get a deal or sale on. So right now, the Rouge is happening, and the dates for this are today, April 26th, up until May 6th. You use the code HEYROUGE. I will leave all this information in the box below. And you get 20% off. The VIB tier is from May 2nd to May 6th, and that is Hey VIB for 15% off. And Insiders, which anybody can use that code, it's May 2nd to May 6th, and the code is Hey Insider for 10% off. I'm gonna share with you guys my recommendations, and they're things that I've already tried, and would recommend to use and things that I would buy myself. Isn't that nice of me? So I don't have a Mac. I can't show it on the screen as I'm talking to you. So I'm just going to flash a picture on the screen and then talk about each product. So let's start. So the first thing is if I'm looking down, I'm not being rude. I'm looking at my laptop right in front of me. I have tried this product before. It's the Benefit Brow Contour Pro Pencil. If you're an 80s kid like me, then you remember this pencil, pen, that you can snap down all the sides. I got this from Influencer. I didn't expect to like it. I'm not a brow person. I used it today, but this is great if you are kind of like a natural brow person. I guess you could like sculpt your brows with this because it has all the, it has a highlighter, a definer, and two different light and dark shades of brow color. I really like this. I like the kind of ombre brow effect that it gives. I like that it's easy to use. I like the formula of all the shades in here. I think it's a really cool invention and it's pricey. It's $34. So if you want to try something from Benefit, like a brow product, like a pencil, I say give this a try. And the shade that I actually use is, I think it's medium, yeah, brown medium. The next is, again, from Benefit. I don't have this one, but I'm a big fan of their cheek palettes. California is one of my favorite blush shades. I'm wearing it today. They have another one out. It's the Benefit Cheek Leaders palette. It's in the color pink and then they have a bronze edition. It retails for $60. It's worth $150. California is in this one. I think it's a great deal. One of their regular sizes are $30. So you get five shades in this palette for $60. If you get it, you know, on sale, you're saving a ton of money. I think it's a great deal. All right, the next is the Beauty Blender Solid. It's a brush cleansing soap. You can use it for your beauty blender. You can clean your brushes with it. It's one of my favorite brush cleansers. I highly recommend it, it's $16. Not a bad deal to get it on sale. If you're looking for a good flat iron, my favorite brand is GHD. They have a kit and it's called the Classic Good Hair Day Kit. comes with a paddle brush, hair clips, a heat protectant spray, a heat resistant pouch that you can also use as like a, a heating mat when you put your flat iron down and an actual flat iron. Again, that's my favorite brand of flat iron. I am a licensed stylist, so I do know what I'm talking about. And it retails for 199, 20% off. That's a pretty good deal. Or um, if you're a rouge, if you're less than that, then obviously it's not that much off, but still good deal. Ugh, I had I've had lipstick on my teeth the whole time. He didn't say anything. The next is from Too Cool for School. This is the Pumpkin Sleeping Pack. This has pumpkin enzyme in it, which is a really good kind of natural peel for your face. It's not like a crazy, oh my God, my skin, it's a skin peel. It's like, I need to go to a dermatologist for this. It's not, it's a gentle kind of natural peel. This is a beautiful product, however, Sometimes you can find this actual product at TJ Maxx for like half the price. This retails for $20. You can also find it on Amazon, sometimes a little bit cheaper too. But $20 isn't horrible and you get a good amount. You get 3.38 ounces. The next is from, this is not a product that I've used, but it's a product I want to use. I am interested in anything that has turmeric in it. Turmeric is a wonderful skincare ingredient. This is from First Aid Beauty. It's the Hello Fab Ginger and Turmeric Vitamin C Jelly Mask. Same thing with vitamin C. If there's vitamin C in it, I'm automatically like, ooh, I wanna try it. This retails for $32. Again, I've seen this at Marshalls and TJ Maxx for like $12. So if you're interested in it, you can also look there because you'll find it even cheaper. But also something I would like to try. 
Oh, turmeric is really good. Like it's anti-aging, it's antibacterial, good stuff. Uh, okay, the next thing I would definitely recommend, if you have never tried, if you've never found a good face scrub, face exfoliant, facial smoothing treatment, I highly recommend the Glam Glow Flash Mud Brightening Treatment Mask. This retails for $60. Jaclyn Hill recommended this years ago before she owned the world. This was one, this is till this day, one of my favorite skin treatments. My skin feels like a baby's butt after I rinse this off. When you open the container, it looks like a clay mask, but there's very fine granules in it and kind of looks like tree bark little pieces. Don't let that scare you. You leave it on for about 20 to 30 minutes. Hydrate very nicely afterwards because it is a clay mask, so sometimes those tend to dry your skin out a little bit. But the smoothness that your skin feels afterwards is the stuff of legends. <sighs> Highly recommend. The next product is from Coors. I don't know if it's Coors or Coors. Coors, I feel like I'm talking about some shitty beer. But anyway, this is the Wild Rose and Vitamin C Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial. I got this the first time in a beauty box. I think it was like a lore beauty box and it was like a good deluxe size sample. It's something you put on, it's like a sleeping pack. It's like the last thing you put on before you go to bed at night. So you do your, you wash your face, you put on your toner, you put on your serum, you put on your moisturizer and this would be the last thing you put on at night. At first I was like, eh. I was scared it was gonna smell like disgusting fucking roses because the smell of rose usually will give me a migraine. I'm like prone to them. No, it, it does have a slightly floral smell but it's, it's not how I was envisioning it would smell, but besides the smell, it does go away. My skin feels so hydrated, but not greasy at all. It just feels plump and supple. To me, the word supple means hydrated and not greasy at all. So that's what this makes me feel like in the morning after I wake up and I've used this. It, my skin looks really healthy and it's $48, which really isn't bad, but with a sale going on, I mean, fucking go for it. All right, the next is kind of crazy, but hear me out. So this is from Erno Laszlo. This isn't a very talked about brand because it is a luxury brand. This is the White Marble Dual Phase Vitamin C Peel. This is $100. It comes with a grub tub and a vial of serum oil. So it's a two-phased treatment. So you scrub it on your face, and I do have this, I have two of these, and I'll tell you why. You scrub it on your face, and then after a few minutes you add the serum and scrub that too. Amazing smoothness, this is better than the Glam Glow. This retails for $100. I found this at TJ Maxx for 25. Now it was like six months ago, so I bought two, but I would pay easily $100 for this. It's beautiful, to the highest degree. As you can see, I'm super into peels. Peels, exfoliation, I'm all about it. Next is from Neogen Dermology. Dermology, dermology, yeah, I'm saying that right. This is the Bio Peel Gauze Peeling in Lemon. This retails for $27, not crazy, but it's a K-Beauty product. I don't know if it's K-Beauty or J-Beauty or, it's a Korean beauty, it's, it's an Asian beauty product. This is a, so you wash your face and you use this pad to exfoliate for a few minutes and then you wash your, you rinse your face with water and then you tone, moisturize, serum, all that stuff. Serum, moisturize, whatever. Super smooth feeling, very nice. It's, uh, lemon is really good for, it has a brightening effect. It has an antibacterial effect. Really good if, you know, for aging skin. They have a bunch of different kinds. They have a wine version, they have a green tea version for calming. Really nice product, and in the grand scheme of skincare, $27 isn't bad anyway. So this is also something you could find like on Amazon for around the same price or even like a few dollars cheaper. Uh, the next is from Mario Badescu. I haven't tried this, but I'm very interested in it. It has some really good reviews. It's the Buttermilk Moisturizer. I I have tried a good amount of Mario Badescu products in the past. I, you know, you hear people talk about the facial spray, which I don't really see the big deal about. I don't know why everybody raves about the facial spray. It's just facial spray. I've used moisturizers. I've used scrubs. I, I've used the glycolic facial wash, the masks I've used. It's a great brand and it's not really 
that talked about. I feel like it's not very attractive look. Like it's not, there's nothing that jumps out at you like, oh, what a beautiful bottle. It's kind of boring looking, but I kind of love that because I feel like the money they're using for it is going into the bottle and not actually the packaging, like what's in the bottle, not the bottle. Anyway, but yeah, so this is the buttermilk moisturizer it's a, that rejuvenates and replenishes dehydrated skin. Me. It is for dryness, fine lines, wrinkles, dullness. Me. Lightweight cream. Downs great. Lactic acid. Great for exfoliation. Uh, it softens skin. It has vitamin A, chamomile, which is, has a calming effect. Which sounds great. It's $18. That's awesome for a friggin' moisturizer. And you get two ounces. Even better. I definitely wouldn't mind trying that. Whether there's a sale or not. God, it's like impossible for me to make a short video. I'm sorry, I used to be really good at short videos. Now it's like, how long can I make this? Let's make a movie. Let's get into makeup now. Okay, so you guys are gonna totally tune out of this video right after I mention this. This is one of my favorite makeup products ever. This is the Viseart Visart. Still don't know how to pronounce it, but this is the Grand Pro Volume 1 Eyeshadow Palette. This is all matte. Well, and this is all amazing. I use it today. I use it all the time. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I would go for this over a Natasha Denona over Pat McGrath. I think these are beautiful shadows. I have multiple shadows from this brand. Some people I've heard aren't a fan, don't see what the big deal is. I can't relate. I think they're beautiful shadows and I highly recommend them. The next palette is a lip palette and this is, I'm not really a lip palette fan. Like. Urban Decay comes out with them and stuff, and I'm like, eh. I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette. It retails for $48. I use mine all the time. I think it's awesome. It comes with an array of different actual shades, and then it comes with a bunch of primary and secondary colors to make literally any color under the sun. It's probably more, makes more sense if you're like a working makeup artist, but if you're somebody who loves to buy lipstick, but buying a ton of lipstick gets expensive, so I think having a lip kit is a great idea. All right, the next is, I never hear people talk about this. It's the Sephora collection, and they have pro palettes. I have two of them. I have the editorials palette, and I have the warm palette. These are $68. It's a, they're beautiful palettes. This is the warm palette. We got a bunch of mattes in here and a handful, a handful of metallics. This is mostly matte, which is one of the reasons that I really like it because it's not half matte and half metallic and then you're like, well now I have to dip into another palette with more mattes. It's mostly matte and that's one of the reasons I like it, but it's a beautiful formula both for metallic and mattes. I, I don't have anything bad to say about this palette. It's a beautiful palette. The next is the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. This palette is sensational. I'm not a huge Urban Decay fan. Like I'm, I have like two of their naked palettes, like some, like the older ones. I have, I was really bummed when I saw the Game of Thrones collection, but it just didn't call to me. Like I really wanted it to be amazing, but it just didn't look that great in my opinion. I saw so many people rave about the Born to Run palette and I got it and I was blown away at how much I loved it. It's a beautiful palette and I highly recommend it on sale or not. Um, again, the Viseart Viseart palettes. They have smaller ones that are like half the price. It's $80. Beautiful, beautiful eyeshadows. Highly recommend. The Marc Jacobs Sequins Glam Glam Glitter Eyeshadow. I have one of them. And it was because Jamie Page used this and I was like dumbfounded when she put it on. This is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. It's like staring into a black abyss of stars. It looks pretty on my finger, but when you put it, tap it onto your eyelid on top of a glitter glue, there's no word to describe its beauty. I highly recommend. Very steep, yes, I absolutely agree, but I think it's worth every penny. The next product that I do have, and I definitely recommend, is also by Marc Jacobs. I have a few Marc Jacobs, so just so you know. This is the Highliner Glam Glitter Gel Eye Pencil in Gemstoned. I'm not gonna say anything, I'm just gonna show you. and boom goes the dynamite. Tantastic, Omega Bronzer. I'm wearing this today. If you're one of those people who is always looking for an amazing bronzer, this is amazing. If you're somebody who isn't excited about bronzers, you don't need it. 
But if you're somebody who's been wondering if it's great, it is, and you should try it. Ugh, the next product, one of my favorite things. And also, I have a lot of people who've been asking me about my skincare routine and skincare products that I love. That video is coming up in the next few days, so stay tuned. The Amour Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peel Cleansing Powder. This is a bottle of powder. You wash your face with your normal face wash. You rinse your face off after you've finished cleansing. While your face is still damp after rinsing, put some of this powder on and massage this powder into your face for about 30 seconds. It's like a mini peel. Your skin feels soft, your skin feels smooth, your skin feels wonderful. This stuff is fantastic. I highly recommend it. A product I wanna try is the Milk Makeup Hydra Grip Primer. I would try the mini one though, because if they have a mini less expensive version, then I'm all about it. The next product is from a new skincare brand. It's the Inky List. I've never tried anything. They have a turmeric moisturizer for $12.99. Sale or no sale, I wanna try that. Another Marc Jacobs new product alert. Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer. I've been waiting for them to come out with a luminizer that wasn't fucking gold. This is a almost white looking highlighter and it's got my name written all over it. I want it. It's $49. I don't care. It's just as big as this is, I think. It better be for $49. Um, Marc Jacobs has a new Accomplice Instant Blurring Beauty Powder. It's supposed to be like a brightening powder like not, like it's supposed to blur fine lines, it's supposed to absorb oil, but it's supposed to be like a radiant finish. I'm very intrigued and I want it. The next product I I do actually own and I do recommend is the Ordinary's AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. This is supposed to be, this is kind of similar, not a dupe, but it's similar to the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial. It looks like you're putting blood on your face. It kind of tingles. It's a really nice peel. I have both those products. I've compared them. They're very similar. They're little mini chemical peels for your face. The next product I don't have, but I wanna try. I wanna try some Huda Beauty lashes. I've never tried them. I don't really wanna pay $18 for lashes. I'm all about drugstore lashes because they're cheap. These are $18. I wouldn't mind trying them if I can get them a little cheaper. The next is a blush from Buxom, and it is the Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush. I wanna know what primer infused means. I've seen reviews on it, everybody seems to love it, but most YouTubers love everything. I wouldn't mind trying it for myself. It's $22, I don't know if I could pay $22 for a blush, but I love drugstore blushes so much that like, do I need to pay $22 for a blush? Anyway, the next, I love, love Dior's foundations. Their Forever foundation is one of my favorites. It was like, the year I had that goddamn bottle was one of the best makeup years of my life. It's $52. They have a new one, it's called the Glow 24 Hour Radiant Perfect Skin Caring Foundation. I want it. Another product that if you've never tried, you need. It's the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleanser. This This is the best, best immediate makeup brush cleanser ever. I own the big size that's almost gone. I own the small size that's almost gone. You pour a little bit in here, you dip your brush in. Within seconds, it absorbs. You brush it off on a towel. It's completely clean. A few seconds later, it's dry. You're ready to go. Boom. Another product I would love to try, but I don't really want to pay for it. It's the Giorgio Armani Maestro Fusion Makeup Ugh, $64 for foundation. That's just a lot of money. And it's just so scary buying that expensive of foundation online. Cause it's like, what if I get the wrong? Haven't you ever ordered a foundation or any kind of facial makeup online? And you, j and the, it described the color and you're like, this is definitely my shade. And you get it and you're like, what the hell is this? It's like, uh, did I order this blind? Anyway, I definitely want to try it. I'm just scared to order anything that expensive online even with a sale going on. All right, the next is something I have tried and I'm a huge fan of. It's another peel. It is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Mini Peel. 
They're pads. You do one, you finish with the other, boom. Beautiful face. They have two different tiers or sets. They have a five treatment set that's $17 or a 30 treatment set that is $80 or $90, I'm sorry. Go for the $17 one to try it because then if you don't like it, you didn't waste all your money. But I think that is the end of my video. Um, my camera is about to heat up. So I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you are getting in the sale below. Let me know if you think there's anything I should try. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.